Hi YouTubers, this is your Ems, and this is a power pack, yeah, which I bought from China. Yeah, I was uh, greedy, yeah, once again, and bought it for uh, my father-in-law's uh, laptop, but he reported uh, immediately that the battery, yeah, doesn't work uh, correctly. So he bought uh, a new original one, yeah, and he gave me this one for investigation. So let's have a look at it today. The nominal voltage of the battery pack is uh, 10.8 volts. Yeah, the capacity is uh, 5200 milliamp hours. It was made in China, yeah, and it was super cheap. One could say it was especially, yeah, super cheap, but let's open it. Uh, normally I uh, take it apart, yeah, by smashing on the ground, but today I decided to use this uh, alcohol, yeah, to dissolve uh, the glue they use uh, for building power packs, yeah. And let's see how quickly I'm able to open it this way, yeah. So let's go for it.
here it is yeah it takes ages to open power packs this way but on the other hand uh, they are not destroyed so let's check uh, quickly voltage yeah and the voltage uh, of the power pack uh, looks all right yeah so let's remove the batteries And this is a control board. I can have a look at it in one of my next videos. But now let's uh, check uh, the batteries. Okay, here are the batteries, yeah, the first one looks alright, the second one looks also right, the next one also alright, also alright, also alright, and the last one is also alright, so batteries all seems to be alright. And here you can see parameters, yeah. The nominal voltage of the battery is 3.7 volts. Yeah, the capacity is 2,200 milliamp hours. But there's something suspicious, yeah, with it. Look at this. On the power pack, the nominal voltage is 10.8 volts, yeah. And the capacity is uh, 5,200. 100 milliamp hours, yeah? And if we take uh, these two values and the way, yeah, how the batteries are connected in the power pack, yeah, the nominal voltage of the batteries should be 3.6, yeah? And the capacity of each should be 2600 milliamp hours, yeah? But look at the parameters, yeah, of the batteries. Yeah, which are there. The nominal voltage is 3.7, yeah, and the capacity is just 2200 milliamp hours, yeah, which is less than it should be. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is to use this uh, battery charger for testing the real capacity of all batteries, yeah, in the power pack. I'm really curious, yeah, what the capacity is going to be. So let's go for it. And here are results, yeah. I've tested the capacity twice, yeah, for each battery. And the average capacity, yeah, of all the batteries is uh, about 1,800 milliamp hours, which is much less, yeah, than declared capacity. And it seems that in power pack, they used, used up batteries, yeah, which explains, yeah, why the battery pack uh, was discharging very quickly. Okay, let's sum up all the findings, yeah, and say what's wrong, yeah, with the power pack. So the first thing is that the real capacity of the batteries inside is just uh, 1,800 milliamp hours, and it should be 2,600 milliamp hours, yeah. The nominal voltage of the batteries uh, is uh, 3.7 yeah, volts and should be 3.6 volts. And the most important thing yeah, is that uh, the power pack should have uh, capacity 5200 milliamp hours and it has just 3600 milliamp hours. Yeah? And that's a huge difference, yeah? Okay, so these batteries are just good for my hobby projects. 
not for laptops or uh, power packs, yeah. And I'm going to put them to my um, batteries storage, yeah. This is it. But one important thing I want to mention to you, yeah, before finishing this video, and that's a uh, storage voltage, yeah. If you want to store lithium ion batteries or lithium polymer batteries for a longer time, they should be in right voltage, yeah. So let's test uh, a few of these batteries, yeah, whether they have a uh, correct storage voltage, yeah. The first one definitely doesn't have, yeah. The voltage is too high. So let's test the second one. Yeah, again, the voltage is too high. And the third one, yeah, the voltage is also high. So it seems that my batteries are stored incorrectly, yeah. But the question is, uh, what's the right, yeah? And the correct storage voltage is about uh, the nominal voltage, yeah? It's about 3.7, 3.6 volts, yeah? But if you want to be absolutely correct, yeah, check uh, a data sheet, yeah, for the battery. But if you don't know, just discharge your batteries to the nominal voltage. I've checked all my batteries, yeah, and charge them to the right voltage, yeah, the right storage voltage. So now all of my batteries are stored correctly. And that's it for this video. So thank you for watching and see you next time.